Butterfly is one of the most challenging swimming strokes. It definitely requires a certain level of physical condition. The proper work outside of the swimming pool can definitely help you to reach the desired form. Hi, my name is Dan. I'm an all-American swimmer and private coach from New York City. Today we're talking about the butterfly. The butterfly anatomy consists of two parts. Make sure you watch the second part once you're done with this one. The first part of the video concentrates on the stroke phases of the butterfly. The catch, the power phase, the end phase, recovery, and the water entry. Without a further ado, let's jump straight into the first phase of the butterfly stroke. The initial propulsive phase guides your stroke it sends your hand straight backwards, which allows your body to move forward. It maximizes the surface area and allows the entire arm to be involved in that stroke. And it prepares your main muscle groups to be involved in the stroke, which are the chest muscles and the lats. The catch is generated with the upper portion of your chest and your biceps. Try out some of these exercises to improve your catch. Biceps curls with the stretching board. All you have to do is just grab the handles and step on top of the stretching board. Make sure that you keep your elbows closer to your torso and control your movements when you bring your arms up and on your way down as well. we're gonna have to use the towel. This is the biceps curls with the towel. Um, lay on your back and position your foot right in the middle of, the, of your towel. Uh, lay back but don't let your uh, back touch the floor and pull your knee towards your chest with help of your biceps. I want to see you controlling that motion. Okay, this one perfectly imitates the initial phase of the stroke. This is the stretching cords catch. Uh, stretch out your cords and lean forward. Uh, get ready to pull your handles towards your chest until, until they level up with your elbows. Make sure your elbows are staying high. that will focus on your upper chest. Those are the row push-ups. Get to your initial push-up position, but this time make sure that your butt stays up. Move forward as you're going down and then roll and push up on your way um, up. Another form of the push-up that you might try is the elevated legs push-up. Regular push-ups, you just have to make sure that your legs are st staying higher than the rest of your body. generates the force against the water, which increases the distance per stroke, and it accelerates the speed, which uh, improves the rate per stroke. Uh, the muscles active during the power phase are your chest muscles and your 
laps. Let me show you how you can improve your power phase. We're gonna imitate the propulsion and the recovery phase of the butterfly with this exercise. Uh, those are the um, full pulls with the stretching cords. As usual, stretch out your cords, lean forward, and begin with pulling your handles all the way down until you reach your thighs. But then, I want to see you recovering your arms sideways the same way you would recover them when you do the butterfly. Now, make sure that you're controlling your recovery. Do not throw the handles. Control the motion. Those are the half stretching cord pulls. Let me show you what's so significant about this exercise. Get to your initial position, stretch the cords, lean forward, and go halfway through your stroke, but then do not release it all the way back to the initial position, but get it back to 50 or 75%. What's so interesting about this exercise is that you never let your muscles rest. Make sure your elbows stay higher than your hands and focus on your lats and your chest muscles as you do this exercise. We are going to focus on our lats with this fun and super efficient exercise. Uh, it's called pulling push out. You're going to have to use the wood floor for this exercise because we're going to have to slide back and uh, forth on the floor. So you're going to have to lay all the way down and get ready to pull yourself forward, arch your spine and then push yourself backwards. exercise that you can do with the towel is called the towel rows. Go all the way down to the floor, bring your arms in front, this is going to be your initial position then. Arch your spine, get your legs and your arms above the floor and then pull the towel towards your chest, bring it back, go down. Get to your initial push-up position and after you push yourself up, slap your back. This push-up variation is definitely going to kill your backs. Try it out. It's called the push-up hold. Basically, you're going to do the regular push-ups, but once you get down, I want you to hold that position for 5 seconds before you come up. Hold. And then come up. which increases your uh, rate per stroke. It also enhances the power, which improves the distance per stroke. The forceful extension of your elbow emphasized during the final phase of the stroke. It puts the great demand of the power into your triceps muscles. You should definitely try some of those exercises to improve your final phase. Stretching cords are the best friends of swimmers when we don't have an access to a swimming pool. We're going to use them to improve our triceps. 
get to your initial position where your hands stay on the same level with your thighs and get ready to extend your elbows by working out with your triceps. If you don't have any stretching cords, it's not a problem. I have a couple exercises that you, that you might do in order to improve your triceps, which is so important for the butterfly. The first one is called the bodyweight tension dips. Get to the initial position and get ready to bend your elbows so that your butt is almost touching the floor. Um, you should lean slightly backwards for if you want to put a little more stress into your triceps. This one is a little more complex, so let me challenge you with inner hand push-ups. Get to the initial push-up position, but this time your fingers are gonna look towards each other. Uh, don't bring your arms uh, way too far from each other. The closer is the harder. Control your movement, do not rush. Besides that, the water entry isn't that important for the butterfly, so I have decided to combine those final phases together. So the recovery and the water entry phases stabilize and balance your body, which allows it to move forward rather than zigzagging, and it helps to control the speed of the recovery, which coordinates the timing of your stroke. Both the deltoids and the rotator cuffs are responsible for the arm motion during the final phases of the stroke. Try some of those exercises to improve your deltoids and rotator cuffs. Stretching cords. Let's develop our deltoids with it. Uh, this one is the reverse uh, flies with the stretching cords. So step on uh, the stretching cords and lean your body forward. Get ready to raise your arms about the same level with your shoulders. Control your motion, do not try to rush. Control it on your way up, control it on your way down. A super relative exercise for butterfly recovery. Uh, rare delt flies does not require uh, any equipment, just your body weight. Lay down and stretch your arms along the body so that your palms are pointing up towards the ceiling. Uh, get your torso up and twist your hands at the same time so that they face the floor and squeeze your scapulas. Hold that position for a couple seconds, go down. Start with the internal external rotation. Put the towel under your uh, arm to make sure that your elbow stay closer. Let's start with the internal rotations. Control your motion, do not rush. Switch your arms and try to do the uh, external rotations as well. Uh, another good uh, rotary cup exercise is super simple. You're gonna push up, but you're gonna push up against the wall. Lean against the wall, make sure your legs are staying a little further away from your torso. Uh, start pushing up. 
And again, try to control your emotions. Do not rush. Control over the speed. Guys, I have a little bonus for you. My fellow swimmer and swimming coach, Alex, wants to share his knowledge about the butterfly. He'll show you a few exercises that you can do in order to improve your butterfly. Greetings, everyone. My name is Alexander. I'm a USA swimming coach. Thank you, Coach Dan, for invitation to calibrate. So today, the topic of the video is butterflies. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you, my friends, uh, a few of my most favorite uh, butterfly associated exercises. So let's get it started. Come on. All right, guys, next one we're doing on your stomach. We're basically moving your straight arms above the ground next to you. In swimming, we call it double recovery drill. Um, in several reps, you'll feel how much this simple movements impacting your shoulders and traps. If it's too easy, you can hold a couple of pounds in each hand. Second one, we can call it hammer thrower. Arms relatively straight at your chest level and you basically pull with your both arms across from left to right and then to the other side. As you perform a movement, apply upper body rotation, thus you'll engage muscles of your core and also you'll get a significant impact on your shoulders and back side of your shoulders as well. During exercise number three, we continue working on your shoulders, but with a little more focus on its back part. Triangular muscle, which rotates your shoulder and gives stabilization in it. You need to bend over and pull below yourself, starting at your opposite shoulder, all the way across, and finish the movement once your arm is aligned with your shoulder line. And the last exercise, guys, for me, but not least, uh, I call it high pull. So you step on the edge of your stretching cord and using your both hands, you pull in upward until your full arm extension, right into streamlined position. Very important over here is your elbow position. As you pull up, you need to point your elbows upward. And when you release downward, keep the same path. Hands down first, pointing your elbows up and everything down then. Muscle group is impacted mainly here, uh, traps and lone muscle of your back. All right, my friends, hopefully you've enjoyed this type of workout. Butterfly is pretty much the main stroke. It requires significant amount of strength, flexibility, as well as coordination. So keep practicing this type of workout and no doubts you'll improve your butterfly. Also, hopefully you liked our collaboration with Coach Dan. So if you do, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and everybody guys, stay safe and healthy. Thanks, Alex, that was awesome. Guys, please support Alex and check out his YouTube channel. You know, butterfly requires a lot of work to be done out of the pool. So now, when you have more information about the butterfly, you can practice your training process more precisely. Guys, make sure you watch the second part of the butterfly anatomy video where I talk about the dolphin kick and the stabilizing muscles that you use while swimming the butterfly. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. I will see you in next video.